Welcome to Sekiro Shadow, Shadows Die Twice. My name is Nita, so this is episode 8. 8 of our 8 it is. And we are... I'm, I'm really feeling that at this point of the game, uh, it's still very early game, but we are starting to get the tools we want. We have a few different... We have a few different tools available. We have five gourd seeds. We have a bit extra health. We got a bit of extra... We got at least one up on the attack power, so we got... We got something, right? We got uh, we, we got business here. We um, that's pretty good. Oh, uh, that's the guy we talked to. Ha -ha. Hey, hey. It's you. Thanks again for bailing me out back at Ashina Castle. I'm gonna be hanging around here for a while. I need time to sort through all the info I've got. Speaking of which, I'm happy to do business with you anytime. Interested? Sure. Dragonbloods, um, coin purses, Sabimaru memo. That's how we find the Sabimaru. Whereabouts? We do, we know that already. Three-story pagoda item. Scraping the three-story pagoda. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that is. Oh, I think I know what that is. I think that's a, one of the it's a secret location where we can get learn in the Senpo Temple. Yeah, I know. And then <laughs> two thousand gold. It's. I mean, the thing is, it's worth it. There's nothing that's more Until worth next it. Time. That's the only thing we want gold for, is to get that. But I only have 1,200 and 300 in stock, so not just yet. So, we are going to a new location, brand new location. Exciting stuff. And they've been hounding me for using the bell. So we're going to use the bell and see what's going on. Pray. Close your eyes. Hear the bell speak to you. The bell's chime will stir your thoughts and awaken old memories from their slumber. Three years ago. So, we're not technically not time traveling, but we are just going reliving memories. However, it's still really weird because, of course, we still have the hand, we still have all our equipment, but it's just three years ago, before we lost the hand. But that's, it's just one of those things, right? Just one of those things. Don't, don't you, don't you worry about it. All right, so here is the Hirata Estates. It's in flames and we heard from the, uh, from the merchant who said that it was, um, who said that they were some, a band who was attacking and he also said that, oh, I know you. So uh, maybe we'll meet him. Maybe we will. Let's just see if there's anything in here. There could be something in here. Nope. No. Okay, well, it was worth a shot. Got something here. Fistful of ash. We still haven't really figured out what it's here for. You're the son of... Owl. What happened? Thieves at Hirata Estate. You must hurry. The divine error. What year is it? What year? An odd question. Tell me. It's the year of the Dragon Spring Pilgrimage. The Dragon Spring Pilgrimage? I was. Three years ago? What is this? The sculptor mentioned an old memory. I don't remember any of this. But it appears this is the past. So we're reliving the past in a very real way. 
Okay, so let's see. We have some fishes in the water that we absolutely want to do, but first I think we need to deal with the ones on here. I think we're actually slightly over-leveled at this point. Uh, that fishy is just begging to be killed, isn't it? Treasure scale cop. Treasure cop scale. A sparkling scale from a treasure cop. To the average person, it's just a beautiful scale. But there are some who ex there are some who exult in certain master, uh, who consider these scales among the most precious things in the world. For this reason, collecting them would be worthwhile. Got it. Well, now we kind of took a wrong, weird way to do that. That's another one. There are only two. no. There are three. Three. I don't think there's more than this in this location. And then we get to start at a very weird location. We really should have started with the bridge, but we we'll start here. Light coin purse. Thank you. There's something over there, and then there's something really weird. Know about carp scales? I know about the carp scales. Shining scales of the treasure cup. Bring them to me, and I'll reward you handsomely. So here we can buy with, uh, we can buy one of these, one of these, and a f mask fragment, right? I think we've seen another. There are three mask fragments, and I can't remember what they do, but it's something like really late game, so. Yeah. Floating passage. Unleash attacks in a flowing dance like form overwhelming enemies in a furor of graceful aggression. This team belongs to the Ashen of Sword School, who is thought to be deemed heretical due to the foreign origin. I don't know what it does. Can't remember what it does, but I know that we want this one. That's why we want two scales. Withered Gourd. So the Withered Gourd is a curved withered red gourd filled with medicinal waters. The gourd medicine refills upon rest, reducing burn buildup and slightly increased burn resistance. It cannot heal the burn status of normality, however. So basically, if you get starting to get some burn, I thank you for your then, then we can actually start using that. Let's pop it on our. Uh, hot bar there because there is a lot of burning things in this area so it would make sense to get that in preparation for what's probably coming right. I see a wolf and more wolves really you don't see us yeah Things are not working well for you, are they? I think they also have an internal level. And um, we are too high level compared... Not too high, but we are higher level compared to them. For that reason... That oh, that's interesting. Never done it this way before. It's pretty cool. It's kind of funny. And there we go. That's how we do that. I don't want you working over here. As soon as you come over, I don't think I know it's not needed, but let's uh let's let's be a bit diligent here and learn to get some good rhythms or good uh No way for me to do anything with this guy. Good. And this is where we came from, so let's go back and we stood up there and then we decided to jump in the water instead of clearing it this way. Dowsing powder. Dowsing powder is used for when we catch fire. Let's actually read the description of it. Dowsing powder heals the burn status of normality and for a time decreases burn buildup, increases burn resistance, and reduces damage from in-kind burn attacks. Alright, um, so the, the thing about like poisons, burns, is that um, burn 
is how do we say this uh when they hit they keep dealing damage until they're healed so it's not like it's not a, oh wow it's not exactly a trivial thing uh don't want to go here so you will need to have some there some kind of uh way to deal with this all right so we got this far and I think we cleared everything outside. Yeah, I think so. And... Yeah. Uh, we don't need to rest. Alright, so when you turn around... There's a few up there. I think we can take you before. Come on. Got it. Let me jump up. Uh, we'll take them from another way. We'll jump down here behind. And then go behind this ledge. Grab some stuff we have here. Uh, so right now we are just figuring out what this memory is. We just know that there is a memory and you have to hurry in for Rescue and Kuro. Double jump, grab the ledge. And hello. everything because of the death blow. That's the cool part about this. So someone in here is really paying attention to the fighting out there. Pistol of Ash. Um, so we have an in. So this one, we can't open it from his side. We have to open it from the other side. So we cleared that side of the path and now we're going to this side. And did you see there's a path that needs clearing up. Oh, I'm just going to jump down here, go on the back side. Uh, you're super enthusiastic to kill me. Let's try and see if we can avoid it. See, <laughs> someone is there. He's walking. See some gold shining through here. Ah, uh, that's not going to be going well. No. How did you not see that? Okay, well, don't care. Um, <laughs> uh, let's go all the way over to this corner and jump behind Uncle Sugar. So we're going to see if we can... Uh, there's no way that we can actually get all of them. Actually, that's... We're going to see if we can... Oh my god, that's totally not what I wanted. Ah, that sucks. All right, we might throw some flaming arrows and stuff at us. One of them is like, ah, he's over there. The other ones are like, yeah, th there might be something. But he's probably gone now. Yeah, that's not what I wanted. So one guy, the guy who was shot, gave up. Yeah. Yeah. What about the roof? No, you got a bow. That's not very cool, is it? Kind of sucks having a bow when you're fighting a shinobi. And there's a loot here. Pellets. Thank you. All right. So we cleared this little space. Mm, anything else? Nope. On the roof? Don't think so. Ah, that's a bad 
place, isn't it? Okay, so now we clear this. Oh, there's a. Is that a doggo? Nope. Mm hmm. Where do we have things? Let's switch to that one. What happened? They saw me? That kind of sucks. What? Is that a wall? Oh, there's. Ah. They're, these are drunks. They're pretty simple to take out. And there's a guy peeing, so let's see if we can take you out. I know it's really uh, unfair to do. Ah, yeah. Did I see something? Ceramic shots. That's actually what. I, what? What happened? Ow! Ow! There. All right. So definitely, there's something up here. They gave up easily because they are drunks. I don't know if you're coming in. Shouldn't be. Is that, that one? By the way, this is also a great place to grind because... Whoops! They coming now at this point we might as well just take them They're coming as well I'm targeting the wrong one and this is why we want the healing thing because now we've completely healed by just killing more than we take damage Nebu balloon and remember that um, we bought some information from the merchant, the, the one Steve now merchant, about a location, a flame barrel that was hidden in fire. An iron barrel that spews fire can be fitted to the Shinobi prosthetic to become a prosthetic tool. It's difficult to control the rage filled red eyes with the power of man alone. However, a fire based weapon could be the means of resisting them. So you can actually get this one first and then go to the ogre, the chained ogre that we took long ago. Uh, they are very susceptible to fire. They... Oops, I implied that there's more than one in the game. Tons of loot in this place and they're super easy to do. So if you want an early game uh, grinding spot, then this is excellent. Excellent. What? Oh, there's one person. Must suck to come to the party a bit late and just see that everyone's dead. Oh, it's a doggo. Dead doggo. Let's see. Anything behind? Nope. Anything inside? Nope. Alright. So, let's... Pro oh! Okay, that sucks. <laughs> In. Not a big deal. Okay, so we are now we are now bypassing the door that we could not open. Those worthless bastards. Hello. <coughs> you are Shinobi, if if I'm not mistaken. Take the Shinobi axe from from the temple and split. Their skulls wide open. I want to do that. Please. Oh, I want to do that. Got something. Oh, I got an eavesdrop. Hey, open up. Open up or else. Or else. I can hear you whispering in there. If you don't surrender peaceably now, you're going to regret it later. Hey, can you hear me? Hey. Ah, yeah. There's so many things we're going to regret later that I don't really keep track of all of them. 
boom. Goken, oh, Goken sugar. I don't think we've seen Goken sugar before. And bite the candy and take the Goken stance to impart. Blessing reduces posture damage taken over time. Okay, and then we can open this door. So this is functioning as a shortcut. So now if we have to rerun, then we can jump up on the roof, go in behind, jump in here, go through. Okay, so here's... We burning this temple next, boss? No, leave it. Go on to the next one. But if there's any offerings, we could give them to Lord Juzo. Enough! We don't take from Buddha. How many times do I have to tell you before it sinks into your thick skull? Please, don't get angry at me. Please, don't get angry, boss. I'm sorry, my skull's so thick. Yeah, well... Skull's so thick, so let's try something else. Some other place to kill you. Yeah, you just wave away. Huh? Well, there is one over there. I don't think you see me. I can go up here into this temple. And take the Shinobi Axe of the Monkey. A heavy black iron axe from the sh used by the Shinobi. Can be fitted to the Shinobi prosthetic to become a working prosthetic tool. This boorish axe is used less for cutting and more for breaking things with its weight. Once a favorite weapon of the Shinobi known as the Bounding Monkey of the Sunken Valley. It was lost because of his left arm. Aha! Uh -huh. Who is the bounding monkey of the Sunken Valley? Mm hmm. So a shinobi. Ah! That was a bad death though. But we got it anyway. They're not particularly dangerous. We're a bit out leveling these light coin purse. That's why I'm I'm not really taking things super seriously here. Which probably means that I'm gonna die from stupidity very, very soon, because that's how things usually pan out. And here, okay, so we got everything in this little location. Up, get some altitude. Oh, roosters. Roosters, roosters, roosters. Mm -hmm. And those two guards there at that location. So there's like four little gardens. There's one over here. one there but there's also two behind here or something crazy like that I don't know why I'm so afraid of these oh damn it that's why Look how much damage they cost. A bit of help? Ah, oh, juicy. Alright. I think that's it. Five of those. Go sugar. Okay, I think that was all we could expect from this location. Oh, nope. The first one. Pellet. Uh, that's nice. And let's go into this location. And who do we have here? Our good friend. Hey, good sir. Are you a looter too? Uh. Good sir, you look like a shinobi, I think. Are you looking for something? Well, in any case, <laughs> I found this place first. Hmm? <laughs> so... Keep your eyes peeled out there, huh? <laughs> and, uh, you know, don't let the door hit you on the... Oh, by the way, while I was on my way here, I saw a three-story pagoda on top of some cliff. It was mm -hmm. a fine pagoda. Really fine. I bet there's some kind of treasure kept in there. <laughs> Gotta be. That's what I think, at least. Hey, good sir, keep your eyes peeled out there. While I was on my way here, I said, okay. was, I bet. that's what I... Nothing more from you. Uh-huh. Don't like... Um. 
Ah, let me just think what's down there. I want to take this one first. Remember this door. I'd actually really like to take this guy. Because he's tougher. The other guy is just an idiot who's... There we go. And do we have some eavesdropping? <laughs> Try not to move, it'll make your wounds worse. No, I must go. There is a shinobi hunter among the bandits. He's highly skilled. If I don't face him, oh! I forbid it. You <laughs> are in no condition. Look at all the stones on the roof. Alright, so there's a shinobi hunter among the bandits. Interesting. You. You're the young master shinobi. Yes. What good are you? <laughs> you were nowhere to be seen when things went south. That's exactly why what not, actually. Tell me you didn't lead them here yourself. The timing of their attack was perfect. Normally those bandits wouldn't have stood a chance. Yes. Yes, it had to be you. I hope you die, traitor. That's not very nice. Who, who are Ooh. you? I'm not a thief. Uh, Grisly. Uh, you're, you're the young lords. Oh, thank goodness. Honorable Shinobi, those filthy bandits are after the young lord. They've already climbed the hill and set the estate on fire. It looked as if the young lord had no way to escape. I beg of you, Shinobi. Please rescue the young lord. I entrust this to you. I will. Ah, and to some powder. Point. Thank you. Okay, so I don't think there's anything else in here. Nope. Walls and stuff. Okay. Oops. There. Ah! Get up there. Okay, and now we go over to this one figure out what's down here. I can't remember. Or up here. Ooh, a bundled Jesus statue. Jizo. A small Buddha effigy bound in red cloth. Free race in praise between one's realms to restore a node of resurrected power. To its worth, a Jesus statue is to express feelings of parental love. The bundle of cloth is to at least ensure that the little one goes in peace. Okay. Um, super nice. That means that if we find ourselves without a resurrective power, for example, before a tough boss fight, we could use that one just to top it up so that we uh, don't die. Alright, so now we are at a bit of a conundrum actually, because the next thing we move up and fight here is actually something that really, really would like to have a, uh, uh, a new Shinobi tool. So, oops. I think we actually have to do that and go all the way back to the dilapidated temple. That means we have to clear a bit of space again, but we want to get the Shinobi Hunter in this episode as well. But I just need the tool here. Thick shields break them into splinters. That's exactly the tool we need now because we have two shielded. Did we get a gourd sheet? I'm no, we didn't. glad. I can never remember when we have a gourd sheet. Okay, still don't have Goodbye. any. And how much money do we actually have? 1,000. Oof. Ah, we can so buy the gourd seed. Back was the... mm -hmm. Oh. Whether it was a dream or it was reality, I have no idea. There is one thing I can tell you. The great Buddha has seen fit to awaken old memories within you. What you felt, what you remembered, that is what it all depends upon. I'm not sure if what I saw is what truly happened. That's how it works. <laughs> Fit new tool. We got the flame vent. Uh, it's difficult to show the rage. Oh, yeah, that's we read that. And the loaded axe. One strike can easily turn a wooden shield into splinters or shred an enemy's posture. I really like that one. Uh, hold on. Should we do it? look at some upgrades potential here? Yeah, we can't upgrade. We're missing 
a lot of things. That one we don't even have that tool yet. And the spring loaded vent. At least we can see the vent. Deals damage to enemies with gouts of fire and quickly burns the heads of That sounds so good. Another time then. Ah. Let's go burn our money as well. And we have 1,000, so we're going to take one more thousand there. There's no reason not to, I think. We're not saving up for anything. There's nothing more valuable than these things, so... Get that 1,000. Go in hey here. There, still at Gourd seed, thank you. And we don't Until really want to run around time. with more money than necessary. And since we're here, it would be a perfect opportunity to... I'm glad. Keep the gourd seed, and there we have it. Goodbye. And there we go. That's perfect. And we also have acquire skills. So now I think it's the time. Now we can get something like grappling hook attack or chasing slice. Really good things. But I really want this ash. This one. Ishimonji. It's a really powerful attack. And then we can go descending carp and ascending carp. These are really good. They are passive abilities that just increase our damage. Uh, damage inflicted to posture upon performance of successful deflection. And uh, a latent skill that for a few seconds after deflection increases damage to enemy posture from all sources. So it's basically just more posture damage after deflected. We like deflecting, right? So travel. Uh, where are we? We are in the Harata at the estate path. We're kind of uh, running a bit long, but I think that we need to have at least one boss fight in each episode, so we're gonna run up to that Shinobi Hunter. Yeah. You would think that I've been rerunning this one a lot of times. By the way, we don't need this, but we want the loaded axe, and that's the one we want available. Because they have wooden shields, and we need to smash through the wooden shields. Oh, and a new combat art. We're going to get the Ishimanji. It's also really good. I'm just going to... Mm, I'm just going to take you. Whatever. Alright. Come on. Any of you gonna come in? Come at me? But how they... They absolutely get destroyed by the attacks. And they would be so annoying to fight on the otherwise. Alright, so this part... This can be a bit tricky. Because you have the Shinobi Hunter somewhere in that area. But on top of that, you also have a lot of other things. So it's really difficult to clear... All the things you need to clear without aggroing the shinobi hunter and the answer is you can't really do it so I'm, gonna just, I'm gonna do this a bit careless to be honest Hunter. I know it. Thrusting attacks. Okay. And then we run away. There. There. And then we wait for the reset. Boom. Shinobi Engine of Mizen. We'll pop one of these just in case. So we've cleared all the other ones and now it's just the Shinobi Hunter left. I don't know where he is, but he's probably just below us somewhere. Oh, 
there he is. Yeah. So at some point he'll reset, I hope. And then we can come after him. Otherwise we'll just do something else in the meantime, but it's, yeah, it's kind of risky the other stuff. Come on, the battle music needs to stop. There you go. Battle music stopped. Did it? No? Still down there. Bit annoying, isn't it? Well, we're gonna do it in another way. Uh, let's just go back then. Because he's not gonna follow us down here. Where is he? There we go. Now we can go back because if we are fast then he will find him on his way patrolling back. Which is exactly what we want. Alright, so this is where you need Mikiri counter. It's very it's very difficult to take without Mikiri counter in the beginning at least. What the hell? What the Alright, let's Alright. Ah, stop being careless. Super careless. We are way over leveled this one. Way over leveled. That was that was rather abusive. That's kind of funny how much it feels we I remember this one's really tough. If you take this one at the beginning, it is tough. Uh, there is one thing we need to go behind back here, but that's not gonna be right now. We are going to wrap this one up because we we got that one. <laughs> We got that one, and let's rest here. Now everything behind us spawns, respawns. Uh, that was maybe not the smartest, but it doesn't matter. So, we are gonna wrap this one up here. We uh, are working our way through the Hirata estate. That's gonna take a bit of time to uh, go through all of the Hirata estate and uh, just discover what the hell happened three years ago. We've had so many people referencing this event that night and you don't remember anything and all that things. So, it's gonna be interesting to see how that pans out. But that's going to be next time. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. And I'll see you guys. Take care and stay effective.